I'm Dr. Michael Camilleri at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. CPU on cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome has just been published. Cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome is a subtype of cyclical vomiting syndrome and that's associated with chronic, typically over years, and heavy, typically daily or near daily use of cannabis. And it's predominantly observed in males. But the prevalence of cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome is increasing, and this leads to visits to the emergency department or gastroenterology clinics with this syndrome. The attacks are often precipitated by stressful events or sleep deprivation. The syndrome is characterized by cyclical vomiting, nausea, and abdominal pain, and in some cases, it's associated with taking prolonged hot baths or showers. But that's not pathognomonic of just cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome, since it can occur in other vomiting conditions. The syndrome itself has four phases. There's a prodromal phase in which the patient experiences nausea and abdominal pain for 30 to 90 minutes and possibly autonomic symptoms like sweating. Now, it's possible to abort the episode at this point by using triptans or antiemetics or topically applying uh, capsaicin 0.1% cream to the upper abdomen. This will reduce the need for antiemetics. The next phase is the emetic phase, which is relentless vomiting associated with extreme thirst. And the patient ingests large volumes of water and can actually become uh, asymptomatic by inducing the emesis. Patients should be allowed to rest in a quiet room and given supportive treatment. Then comes the recovery phase where the vomiting subsides and the patients can re recommence their oral intake. And between episodes, there are no or minimal symptoms or perhaps some mild dyspepsia or nausea. Treatment during the acute phase is supportive, but in the long term, it's important to taper and stop the marijuana and treat the patient with a tricyclic agent like amitriptyline, starting at a dose of 25 milligrams, possibly dose escalating to a maximum of 100 milligrams at bedtime. I hope this helps you with your management of patients with cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome.